Hello everyone, we are talking about dimensional formula. We know dimensional formula is a representation of a physical quantity in terms of fundamental quantities. In this post, I would like to discuss one limitation of the dimensional formula. That limitation is, any exponential function cannot have any dimensional formula. That means, whatever the exponential that has, exponential term that it has, that entire term will have a dimensions of 0. Let us take a certain example. Suppose it is given in a problem that the displacement of the particle with respect to time is given to you as, as some v naught initial velocity, some alpha, we don't know what this alpha is, 1 minus e power alpha into t, where t is the time after which we are measuring the displacement. So, it's very clear from this equation that uh, there is an exponential term in this equation, e power alpha t. As we are saying, that exponential cannot have any dimension. So, e power alpha t is having a dimensions of m power 0, l power 0, t power 0. That's nothing but equal to 1. That means what? The dimensions of alpha and t is equal to 1. So, alpha has a dimension of 1 by t or nothing but time inverse, right. That way we can find the dimensions or the powers or else the physical quantity values that you want to calculate. Similarly, you can see very clearly it is given in this problem that x can also be expressed as v naught by alpha minus v naught by alpha e power minus alpha e power alpha t. So, displacement is expressed in two terms as we said as per the principle of homogeneity a physical quantity expressed in terms of two additions or two subtraction of the two terms each term shall have same physical dimensions that means what dimensionally I am clear in saying it is dimensionally is nothing but v naught by alpha. They are equal in terms of dimensions. So, v naught equal to x into alpha. Suppose you want to know what is the dimensions of alpha. v naught is velocity, rate of change of displacement, l t power minus 1. x is nothing but displacement, l alpha. So, dimensions of alpha is nothing but equal to t power minus 1. You might have seen that I have proved that same in both the cases. So, the same results can be obtained using either this or else that. Suppose in the same problem, if it is not mentioned that v naught is a velocity, v naught is a constant, v naught is a value whose dimensions that you want to calculate, mentioned x like a displacement. What is the dimensions of that v naught if somebody has asked you? We know x is already something like displacement. We have just now calculated alpha dimension as t power minus 1. Then we can write v naught as l t power minus 1. So, this kind of analysis is useful in solving few problems. And this point, this problem would like to help you, would like to tell you only one thing that the Exponential terms of a physical equation are dimensionless, they do not have any dimensions. There is no involvement of dimensions in terms of exponential functions. Also in terms of trigonometric functions, the same rule will go. Trigonometric functions are also not going to have any dimensional formulas. This is the limitation where we cannot apply a dimensional formula. So, exponential functions, trigonometric functions are not going to have any dimensional formulas. That is what would like to add in this post. Thank you. We will continue it further.